right knee to straighten, left knee to flex on the backswing. It's Hal Jacobs here. Uh... Hal Jacobs here at the Haven Country Club, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about club face awareness and how it can make you a better golfer. What I want you to do is take your grip and hold the club out in front of you, and then with your left wrist, if you're a right-handed golfer, I want you to bow the wrist. So this is what bowing the wrist is gonna look like. And then I want you to put it down at address and you're gonna see how it's pointing at your left foot. That's a closed club face. Now I want you to get up here and I want you to cup the wrist. And the cup wrist is gonna look like that. And now I want you to put that back down at address and look how far to the right open that club face looks. So when we get set up to hit our shot, we're nice and square which is perpendicular to this target line. When we make impact, if we wanna hit it somewhat straight, our club face should be nice and square. So we're gonna get up here, we're gonna bow our wrist, bring it down, and now that looks way to the left for me. And that is gonna produce, produce a shot that goes way left. I'm gonna get back up here, I'm gonna cup the wrist, put it down, and look how open that club face looks. That's gonna produce a shot that goes to the right. So at impact, we want something in the middle. So we're gonna get up here and we're gonna do both of those before we hit our shot, if you're doing this on the range. And then we're gonna come up here and try to hit shot where we produce a square club face. And the ball goes dead straight. So try that when you're practicing. Really know what a bowed wrist is like what a cupped wrist is right like, and know that a bowed wrist is gonna make it go left, cup is gonna make it go right, and then try and get the middle or a square club face at impact, and you'll be a better golfer. Right knee to straighten, left knee to flex on the backswing. It's Hal Jacobs here. Uh...